Hi guys, so I'm just pottering in the garden. It might sound a little echoey because I'm in the greenhouse. Just tidying up, getting those autumn jobs done. Um, I'm going to dig up my potatoes. I am really late doing it. I just haven't got out here. It's been a bit miserable lately, so I just haven't got it done. But <coughs> let's, let's see what happened, right? Because I've grown potatoes before in a bag and they never sized up very well. So I wanted to leave them a little bit longer because I wanted them to size up more. But then I was thinking they may not have sized up in the grow bag because I just didn't have the room. So we'll see. Look how bad this is. I've got bulbs that I still haven't put in. I've done most of them, but not all of them. But yeah, let me set you up. I'm really looking forward to seeing how many potatoes I get and how big they are, so. Ready? Oh, didn't I pierce them? Did I pierce? Oh, I pierced a potato. I pierced a potato, but it's a good size. Ugh. Let me put them all up here. I'm going to let them dry out anyway. It's funny how some of them have grown because clearly this one has grown around a rock. Isn't that funny? Danny just said they're like proper potatoes. Oh, they are. Look at the big one at the bottom. I know, that one's, that one's huge. That's like a jacket. Yeah. Some of them are small. What I'm going to need to do is put them in your man cave to let them like cure. Yep. As they are, just leave the mud on them. And then um, once they've cured, I can just wipe the mud off. Like one potato that I'd cut in bits that had, had eyes. Yeah. So I have one potato, I've got all these potatoes. Wow. Yeah, I'm thinking next year, I might do the whole side of potatoes. you got to thank the wiggly woo. Yeah, look at that one. This, is, this lot's not doing very well. All my carrots got eaten. They were all carrots, gone. I've got some beetroot, which I think will be fine, because as long as they're sizing up underneath, they should be good. But um, yeah, look at it. Something is in here eating everything. Just not happening. So look what we found on Facebook. The funny thing is, Danny found one for 250 quid and I was like, oh Danny, it's a lot of money. Like, we probably won't get much use out of it this year. Maybe we'll look next spring. 
And he was like, yeah. And then one came up for 40 quid. So Danny was like, I can't pass that one up. It does need some work doing to it. Danny's probably gonna need to refelt it. And you're in there fixing something. Did it bite you? It bit me. It didn't come with any balls. So balls are coming from Amazon tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> And Danny had a really, really good idea about this side of the garden. I'm just watering because, you yeah, know, that's the thing. He said about taking the trellis up until the greenhouse out and then trellising along this bit with a pathway in the middle, like, um, like an arch, and then having a brick path sort of coming around to make this part of the garden really, really inclusive and separate from the rest of the garden. Oh, so close. He's brilliant, isn't he? He's Cause, good, because this is his 10th game. I know, you can see Danny and Ollie, so. Danny got a ball, Ollie got a ball. Danny got a ball, Ollie got a ball. And then Danny decides to show off. <laughs> Oh, nearly. But yeah, Danny's fixed it. Just needs a bit of a tidy up. Take them off, stick them. So after pulling out my potatoes, this space is now bare, and I'm gonna put in some garlic. It's a good time of year to do it before the first frost. I'm just gonna break this garlic up, and then just like any kind of bulb, really, plant it pointy side up. I want to keep the paper on them as much as possible, but that doesn't always work. When the potatoes have been in here, it's really, really airy, which is really nice. Because I have quite clay soil back here. How easy is that? <laughs> I just need to water it in. Um, I was thinking actually, with the outside space of the greenhouse, it would be nice to incorporate flowers and vegetables outside there. So with Danny saying about screening it off, I could definitely do that. So I have pretty things and also things that are useful. Look at this autumn color in the garden. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Oh, where you going? Come here, you. Come, Mummy, come. You're going for that? No, you're meant to be coming for me. No, no, Mummy. Oh, Daisy. Oh. Oh. Let's try again, ready? One, two, three. Oh, she's such a big girl. You're so clever. You're so clever. Oh. Come in there. No, not for babies. Not for babies. Give me that daddy. My one. Want it? Come and get it, little girl. Clever girl. Clever girl. Clever. Clever. Give our girl, give our girl. You're so clever. Oh. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. I've got lots of Halloweeny things that I want to do. Um, and I think it probably best if I put all that kind of stuff into one video. I think it just makes more sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.